CNN announcing today that Anthony Bourdain was found dead in his hotel room from apparent suicide. Perhaps the most famous chef in the world, he had become one of the best reporters as well. His memoir about the dark corners of New York's restaurant industry, Kitchen Confidential, put his name on the map. Now, he took his act on the road, visiting more than 100 countries with the show No Reservations. And later moving to CNN to host Parts Unknown, Bourdain's suicide comes the same week, of course, as fashion designer Kate Spade took her own life in New York. Anthony Bourdain was 61 years old. It's not just the rich and famous, though, who can succumb to suicide. According to a recent report released by the Center for Disease Control, suicide is on the rise throughout the U.S. Reed Binion breaks down the myths of what drives people to take their own life. A sobering report just released by the Centers for Disease Control, suicide rates are rising all across the U.S. In 2016, nearly 45,000 people ages 10 or older committed suicide in America, making it the 10th leading cause of death in the country. While not every state saw a sharp increase in suicide rates, and only Nevada saw a slight decrease, the number of people turning to suicide rose more than 30 percent in half of the U.S. since 1999. Many people think that those driven to suicide must suffer from a mental illness or that a specific event or trauma pushed them to it. But in fact, according to the CDC, more than half had no known mental health issue. And it is rarely caused by a single factor. Changes in a job, relationship, health, and money stress are just some of the things that often contribute to the risk of taking one's own life. The pain and fallout of suicide touches all communities, yeah. leaving those behind to wonder what they could have done to help. Learn the warning signs that a loved one could be at risk. Keep firearms or lethal objects out of reach. Get them connected to someone who can help. Be there for them and don't forget to follow up on them. For today's Health Minute, I'm Reed Binion.